During this Advent season, we, like Mary and Joseph, are waiting in joyful hope. Joseph's name appears in the Gospels 15 times, and I was surprised to learn that although Mark's Gospel gives many details on the life of Jesus, the name of Joseph does not appear even once. None of Joseph's own words are found in sacred scripture, and yet we have a sense of the kind of person he was and the way he lived. Father Andrew Doze, in his book, Saint Joseph, Shadow of the Father, calls Joseph's presence an active, vigilant, and necessary presence. We feel his presence everywhere in the infancy narratives. Joseph was a just man who trusted in God and lived what he believed. From the little we know about Joseph's life, it seems that he was grounded in his relationship with God his actions flowed from his prayer. Joseph paid attention. The centeredness of his life allowed him to look for and listen to the voice of God, even in his dreams. Think about it. One night, Joseph had a dream, like the ones we might have, and his world was turned upside down. An angel of the Lord appeared to him during the night in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. Joseph trusted and knew in the depths of his being that God was with Mary and with him and would accompany them on their journey. Yes, he trusted, and when he awoke, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. Together, Mary and Joseph waited in joyful hope. Later in Matthew's Gospel, we read that after the wise men left, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph again in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother with you, and escape into Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. So Joseph got up, and taking the child and his mother with him, left that night for Egypt. Once again, Joseph trusted, and with Mary, waited in joyful hope. Let us imagine ourselves in Joseph's situation. What would we have done? Would you, would I, have risked and responded as Joseph did? In both instances, Joseph trusted and dared to respond with confidence. There had to be some doubt, fear, and confusion within him, and yet, his faith gave him the strength and the courage he needed to take the risk and follow his heart. Think of a time in your life when everything was planned down to the last detail. Then something happened and intuitively you knew that your plans had to change. You responded in faith, you trusted, and followed your heart. During this Advent season, May we, like Mary and Joseph, be attuned to God's presence, pay attention, and listen to God's voice. May all our actions give witness to what we believed. Together, let us walk with Mary and Joseph and wait in joyful hope.